Welcome home to St. Anne's. We want you to know that you're welcome to join us at 10 a.m. on Sundays. Please be sure to subscribe to receive our sermons. We can't wait to meet you. And I didn't think I'd survive. So, um, and I'm really about self-preservation at the end of the day. So. <laughs> There's a reason I have Sonic. You guys are used to me having coffee. There's a reason I have Sonic today because I'm losing my voice. But it's fine. You guys are like, yes, maybe you shall preach short. <laughs> um, so today is um, the Sunday that we celebrate the Ascension. The Ascension actually happened um, during the week. But um, today is the day that we talk about it here in church. And the Ascension is actually um, a really, really important High Holy Day. Um, we don't talk about it all that much um i think for a couple of reasons one um it's a very very anglo-catholic high holy day um and saint anne's just generally isn't super high holy um i'm pretty sure um you would have a strong reaction if i pulled out all the incense and the copes and all all this stuff um though my greatest joke about ascension day is in seminary i was in charge of planning the ascension day service my senior year and um, I did an outdoor service with a butterfly release. And the super high Anglo-Catholic um, um, professor was like, only Rhodes would have an outdoor mass on the grass service for Ascension Day. And I was like, where do you think he ascended? Outside with the butterflies. So it was beautiful. We all loved it and the kids loved it. But, um, but yeah, that does say something about um, Ascension Day for me. Um, so Ascension is, um, so Jesus was resurrected. We were all there for Easter, right? We know what happened at Easter. And then he um, reappears, right? And he's been um, with them, traveling along with the disciples as his resurrected self for a little while. Giving them a few little pep talks, getting them ready. Um, and then the Ascension comes. Now, um, the ascension, so when he ascends into heaven and he's gone, like really truly gone this time, he ain't coming back. And we talk about this a little bit at Easter because Easter is very traumatic. Good Fi Friday is traumatic. This loss is a horrible, awful, traumatic loss. Um, there's just, we've whitewashed it um, through generations and generations. We make it really cute and nice and fluffy. But the reality is it was horrific. The whole thing was just awful. And what the disciples and Mary Magdalene and all these people have been going through is awful. There's just no way to make it anything that it isn't. It's traumatic in the worst possible way. I want you to think of some of the worst trauma. And I know um, it's hard for us to think of trauma. But um, think of Israel and Palestine right now. It's trauma. And in much of the world, there's Ethiopia right now. It's trauma that you and I can't fathom. So there's that trauma, but this, this is different. This is still a loss, but it's a bittersweet loss. And so there's still going to be the absence of Jesus, the Jesus that they've known, because Jesus is their friend, their companion. Think about um, your loved ones, your spouse, your family, uh, your coworkers, these people that you are very, very close friends with. It's still a loss. Um, change is loss. And it doesn't mean that it's necessarily always bad. I mean, you guys, oh my God, this poor parish. This poor parish was with me um, when my dad died. And there's nothing bad about my dad dying. I now, it, it's a bittersweet loss. That was the way for him to go. And it was a beautiful way to go. And I know that where he is is exactly where he wanted to be. I know that the way he passed was exactly what he wanted. But it's still a loss. It's still change and it's still different. And I still, to this day, look at the price of asparagus every time I go to hy V. Because you want to know what? My dad and I always called each other when asparagus was on sale. And he'd say, Maggie, <clears throat> asparagus is a buck ninety nine at Hy-Vee. You better go get it. And I did. I don't mess around with asparagus. Because that thing is going to be like five bucks a pound sometimes, right? To this day, I still look at the price of asparagus. 
and I still think, oh, I need to tell dad, asparagus is on sale. But it's bittersweet. It's not bad. And so that is where the disciples are right now. That is where you and I as a people are right now. There's been a lot of loss and a lot of change in the last, mm, over a year. Some of it's been super traumatic, hasn't it? Some of it's just been change and different. I mean, my poor, I love my Prius right now. Love my Prius. Because our gas budget in my house is like zero. Because we don't commute. My husband works from home. It's great. We save lots of money. But it's change and it's different. And in change, there can be feelings of loss and difference. And I want us to understand where the disciples are right now. Because it's different. And there's loss in that. They know it's good. Jesus is the Christ. Everything that Jesus promised them is true. All of it has come to pass. But he's gone now. So the question is, who are we now? Because that's what the disciples have to answer. That's what you and I have to answer. Who are we now? Because the reality is, we're still the sanctified, chosen people that God has always called us to be. But it's different and it's changed because Christ used to be in their midst. And now, you and I are the Christ in the world. And that's different. And after COVID, it's going to be different. And that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. And there are going to be moments that are bittersweet. There are going to be moments of loss. of Like, oh, man, remember we got to do blah, 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 blah? And that was so awesome. Like, yeah. But that's okay. And then there are going to be other times where we're like, remember how we, like, learned how incredibly powerful the church of God is outside of the building? Remember that? Yes, that was awesome. Remember when Meg made us do Christmas Eve when it was freezing cold outside in the parking lot? And the, and the further, we, further away we get from that, the funnier it will be. I know it wasn't funny that night. But it's going to be a great story. Give it a few years. There will be changes, and that's okay. But at the end of the day, we are still called because God has sent us us out into the world to be Christ now. We are the hands and feet of Christ in the world. Called, sanctified, and sent outside of this building to go do the things that Christ has called us to do. To change things. To make a difference. And sometimes that's hard. And sometimes it's going to be different. Good news. Good news. Vanessa's here. And she has some good ways for us to help We are called, we are sanctified, we are sent. And yes, there are moments that are bittersweet and hard. And that's okay. We are different, we are a different people. Christ is ascended, and we go out. We want you to know that you're welcome to join us at 10 a.m. on Sundays please be sure to hit subscribe to receive our sermons. We can't wait to meet you.